Google Calendar is a lifesaver, especially if you need something to keep you on task. I, for one, need to schedule everything about my day to prevent laziness and complacency. If I don't, I tend to be not as productive as I need to be. In this video, I will go over how to use Google Calendar to create your very own calendar, and it's free. Who doesn't love free software? Let's get started. Firstly, you will need to be on the Google homepage. On the top right corner, there will be a menu. Click on this and navigate slightly down until you see Google Calendar. If you're not already signed in, you'll need to do this now before accessing your calendar. This is your Google Calendar. Let's first start by going through some basic navigation and getting familiar with how everything works. On the top right near the menu, you can adjust how your calendar is displayed. This current format we are in is displaying the current week. This can be adjusted from the day all the way up to the year. Adjusting these displays is a great way to visualize your current and upcoming workloads to make sure you are organized correctly. Simply filter through each option to see which one works best for you. Next to this will be settings. In here you can adjust everything from notifications, time zones, and other events related to your calendar. We won't be going over this too much in this video. You can also click the magnifying glass to search for specific items in your calendar. Or simply press the shortcut forward slash to open the search bar. To the left will display the current month and year. Slightly left of this will display two arrows. You can click these to filter through weeks. But this also works if you change back the week view to day view. Click the arrows again and you can filter through days instead of weeks. All the way to the left will be another menu. When this is pressed, it closes the left side menu that displays dates, events, etc. Under this will be the button you will press to create events. We will go over this shortly. Below this will display the current month and display all days in this month. You can also search for email contacts here to schedule appointments easily. You also have the option to customize your own calendars. You can hover over each calendar for additional options. You can select to hide all calendars except one and change color coding for each calendar. You can also add in your own calendars from scratch. Simply click on the plus icon next to other calendars and press create a new calendar. Enter in the name of your calendar and enter in a brief description about it. This can be anything from sports, workout sessions, or anything that would be a good idea to keep track of those events that are happening. You can also browse other calendars that may be of interest to you. On the left menu, click Browse Calendars of Interest. Here we'll display everything from religious holidays to sports calendars. For example, if you wanted to keep track of your favorite sports teams and when they are playing, you can add this to your calendar. Let's click on Football, select NFL, and select your favorite team. Once you have subscribed to this channel, head back into your main calendar view. In the main weekly view, you can see when your team is playing. You can also change this view to month, and this will display when your team is playing on the correct day. Click on the arrows to sort through different months, or you can even use the scroll on your mouse to go back and forth between months. Let's create some events. On the top left corner, click Create. You can choose between Event, Task, and Scheduling Appointments. Click Event. Enter in a simple event that you want to keep track of. I'm just going to add go to the gym. I typically do this after work, so just use this for a reference when you select the time for your own tasks. You can fill in most of the items here, or you can click on more options to expand this even further. Click on this now. Let's set the time from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. and repeat every day other than Sunday. I would recommend clicking where it says does not repeat and clicking custom. Here you have much more flexibility to customize your event. Select to repeat every one week. Click all of the days you would like this event to repeat. For myself, I will select Monday to Saturday and select never ends. There are some other things you can do here. If you have a workout partner, you can add them as a guest to this calendar. Where it says add guests, simply type in their email address. Keep in mind, they will need to be an active user of Google calendars to get this notification. If you're meeting at a specific gym, you can type this address in here. When clicking on location, it will automatically preview this in Google Maps. You can customize your notification to send a notification or an email. Select the reminder to trigger one hour before. You can add additional notifications if required by clicking on add notification here. You can add additional details about any event to the description. 
If you're running a meeting, you can attach files that will be helpful for this meeting. Click on Save Event. If we head back into our main calendar view, you can see this event is added to our calendar for all days specified. As an additional item to add, I am famous for forgetting gym attire and supplements before work. I usually like to add a reminder first thing in the morning before leaving for work. Click on Create Event again. I will add in the title Gym Clothes, etc. This time select Reminder. Click Custom again and select Monday to Saturday. Select Repeat every week. And for this one, I will set the time for 5.30 a.m. Another cool shortcut for you, if you're on any browser and want to create an event quickly, you can simply type in cal.new to the address bar, and this will open up a new event in your calendar. Pretty cool, huh? If you notice a mistake in one of your events, you can make changes easily. Click on the event and press the pencil icon to edit this event. This will bring up the same screen you used when creating this event originally. Once completed, press save. If you want to delete an event, click on any event and press the trash can icon. You can select this event only or all future events for this event. That was a lot of events in one sentence, wasn't it? Now I don't think this tutorial will be fully complete so going over the mobile application. As we all know, a big majority of our time is now spent on a mobile device. Let's switch over to this screen now. If you don't have the Google Calendar app on your phone, download this now in either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. I will be using this calendar on my Android device. This is your mobile screen homepage. It is fairly similar to the desktop version. You can search in this calendar with a magnifying glass and search for what you're looking for. You can also tap on the month to filter through the months. Tapping the menu on the top left will show different views that can be displayed. You'll be automatically on schedule. Next is current day, three days, week, and month. These are the same options as the desktop version. Under this will display the current calendars you are subscribed to and what email addresses are on this device. This is pretty awesome because it syncs all calendars that you manage. This is a great way to make sure you are not overbooking yourself. If you want to turn these specific calendars off, just tap on each calendar you wish not to display. You can swipe from left to right to hide this menu. You can also see the events we added earlier on our PC and they are now displayed on our mobile device. In the schedule view, We'll display the picture from your Google Maps location that we added, which was the gym. This gives the calendar a better look overall. You can change through each display to see which one works best for you. 3D calendar is also a good look if you like to keep things broken down into a spreadsheet style layout. This was a bit of a longer video than normal. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this longer video. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you never miss another video. See you all in the next one, and thanks for watching.